The sport of luge seems simple in concept, lay on your back and ride down a sled, but it's not that easy. We're talking about ice here at speeds of more than 80 miles per hour. Luge has been around since 1946, and these days men and women take part in the singles, but only men in the double luge event. The sport has unique equipment from suits that reduce wind resistance, weighted shorts, special shoes with firm, smooth outer soles, and gloves with spikes on the fingertips to help riders accelerate at the start. Riders start in a seated position and then go for a ride. Most people see it as you're just slowly going down, having the track do what, you know, what it wants to do to you. And that's not the case at all. You have specific lines you have to drive. It really matters with lots of balance you have to have because you have to make, make sure that your weight is spread out evenly on the sled. And you have to be able to know when to input steers. And new this year, a luge relay as a woman, a man, and two men in doubles all from the same country run in a sequence. But what if you want to go down the ice head first, then skeleton is your sport. After being in the 1928 and 1948 Winter Olympics, skeleton went away for 54 years. It came back in the 2002 Salt Lake Olympics and now is as exciting as ever. Basically, you have to be an amazing sprinter because you have to be a powerful push athlete to push the sled at the start. And then you pretty much dive on and with your chin just a few inches off the ice, you know, fly at up to 90 miles an hour. You just go for the ride. Have a good time. The sled has two runners, which are made out of uh, round steel rods. Um, half of the runner, the back half of the runner, has uh, grooves cut into it, so we actually have some control. More or less, we lay on the sled and we flex it uh, with our knee and our shoulder. And those are our major steers, and then we need to make slight corrections. We can do an aerodynamic steer with our, uh, our head. 80 miles an hour, you just tilt your head a little bit and kind of take off in that direction. Learning the track is important in both sports, with riders doing lots of mind runs on the ground before going on the ice. And the track the athletes will find in Sochi is said to be the most challenging track ever designed.